all right so let's create something uh, practical like uh, i promised uh, so we're gonna create a drop shape okay this time and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that uh, to create a water consumption uh, counter okay so let's go ahead and start with a shape so i'm gonna create a struct here we're gonna call this drop shape and it's actually gonna be very easy shape to create so we need um, we need to implement path okay now let me show you like you know the other way of doing uh, creating path so you can still use this format of creating path okay all you need to do is create the path object this gives you path property to operate on and you can simply say path sorry path, uh, not colon in okay and uh, you can simply all right path in okay and you can simply say path dot move and move to which point okay so this is x and y so you can say rect dot size dot width uh, divided by two the y value is zero okay and then we're gonna add um, two quadratic curves okay so add quad quad curve right and this is going to be the first control point is going to be basically um we're going to get the mid uh so rectangles mid of x value so let's take width uh, value okay so we can say rect dot size dot uh, width divided by two and for the y value uh, we're going to say rect dot size dot height divided by two all right so that's going to be our first point our second point is going to be drawn to the rectangles width okay so cg point and uh, this one is going to be um, uh, the x is going to be zero and um, sorry x is going to be for this one rect dot size dot width and rect dot size dot height okay so that's our first quad point second quad point is going to be or quad curve is going to be the start point um so let me copy this one because yeah let me copy this guy right here okay and so we still want width divided by two okay and the y value is going to be zero all right and um for the second control point i'm going to copy and paste the same thing this time x value is going to be a zero and y value is going to be to the height yep okay all right so this is our path so let me go ahead and create our shape first so i'm going to create private for example eight some view some view and uh here we're gonna create our drop shape and uh let me go ahead and give it a frame as well so we're gonna give it a frame for width and height maybe 200 200 and center alignment is okay like that okay so let me go at the top and uh, here we are simply gonna have example eight okay let's resume the preview so we can see what we got all right so it created um okay it created like you know upside down hard shape so let's go ahead and fix that all right so i guess uh, there's a, a problem in the control point uh, that we are meeting so let's say so we have to move uh with divide by two so that's actually perfect we need mid x so let's use actually correct dot mid x okay 
Um, next, we need basically the so for the first point, first uh, point, we're gonna go um, in. So we need max. So max. Yeah, there you go. So we're gonna change this to max y. Okay, and uh, we're gonna change this to rect dot mid x. Okay, and. Uh, for this guy, uh, this is going to be max x, so max x value, okay, and this is going to be max y, so rect dot max y value, like that, alright, nothing changes so far, so we can actually fix all of this, this is going to be mid x, so rect dot mid x, it's gonna give us that value and uh, rex, uh, rec dot rect dot max y is gonna give us the value of height as well. All right, so this is our drop shape, okay? Um, by the way, if you wanna keep the hard shape, like, you know, or try out, like, you know, something like that, uh, feel free to keep that existing code, but that was a mistake. Um, okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we want to con convert this into a, a button right so i'm going to create a state variable first to capture the state for the counter so i'm going to say private bar water counter and i'm going to mark it initialize it with zero okay now next thing what i'm going to do is uh, all right so what we're going to do next is how we're going to create a v stack first all right and we can surround our drop shape into that v stack now what do we need, what do we need v stack for uh well we are going to be displaying a text here water consumption okay and we're gonna be displaying the value of our water counter in this with text glass so these many classes uh, have been consumed. Um, now, next thing what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this and uh, create a button first. And uh, button has an action. So we're going to create an action. And uh, for the label, we are going to use our drop shadow. And in the action, what we're going to do is we're simply going to increment the water counter by one. Okay. Now you can obviously create a fill for this and we are going to use something that we just learned about which is a linear gradient and I'm going to give this a uh, pleasant blue gradient. So we're going to use a, um, a white color and uh, a blue color and uh, for the start point we're going to say stop leading and the end point is trailing uh not tra yeah bottom actually let's give it a bottom okay all right so uh if we resume there we go this is our uh this is our button and as you can see as we tap on it button shade uh, like fades out and then fades in and it's incrementing our counter now um if you want to add a uh, text on this what this button does you can simply use uh, one of the technique that we saw about the overlay and uh, inside the overlay you can create another v stack um, like so v stack and uh, in that we're gonna first create a spacer because we want to push this down to show the text on the uh, tip of the drop so you're gonna say text and uh, you can say uh, plus one glass and you can change the foreground color to be white okay and uh, we are going to add some padding to this and the padding is going to be added for bottom all right 
I'll let the uh, preview catch up and uh, as soon as it does what we are expecting to see is a plus one text on the top of the drop and uh, there we go as you can see our button is still working great so yeah so this is how you can create uh, your own custom shapes uh, using custom shapes you can create your own controls uh, that are like you know completely uh, redesigned from scratch all right and they actually serve the same functionality that other like you know controls do all right so this was it for this series hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed and learned a bit about uh, the um, uh, shapes um, shapes shadows uh, creating custom shapes buttons like creating custom controls and stuff like that okay so thanks again for uh, watching and i'll see you guys in another series